Hello and welcome to the tutorial on word to vector model. Actually word to vector model is an important architecture used in neural network language model. It can be further categorized into continuous bag of words based architecture and skip gram based architecture. Continuous bag of words based architecture predicts a missing word given a window of context words or word sequence. For example, Suppose we have two word in a given context like uh, latent and dirichlet. Then CBOW model will predict the next word allocation. Similarly, a skip gram model predicts the context words given a word. Now take this example again. Suppose we have given one word Dirichlet, then our skip gram based model will predict the context word like latent and allocation. These are the basic difference between these two models. Continuous bag of word based model is highly useful in identifying missing word in a sentence. or some long phrase. or some long phrase. The for example in this case similarly the next use of CBOW model is extracting the meaningful bigrams. or semantically rich set of bigrams. For example, name of some state and name of capital and so on. The third important use is identifying the effective sentiment orientation. Some research paper have used the continuous bag of words based model to identify the effective sentiment orientations to get the effective sentiment uh, score for a particular text or text fragment in a given context. In this tutorial I will go through the continuous bag of words based model but before going into the detail we first uh, explain the vector representation of words. Suppose we have three sentences S1, S2 and S3. Sentence S1 contains three words S W1, W2 and W3. S2 contains two words and S3 contains three words. So in all these three sentences we have total five distinct words. We use this distinct word to create the matrix. Now we can use this sliding window of size two words. to fill this matrix. Now according to this uh, word W2 comes just after W1 in a sliding window of size 2 so we can fill a value 1 in this matrix. Similarly in this sliding window word W3 comes just after W2 so we can put a score 1 here Similarly, we can fill the entire matrix. We can use a window of size k words. To prepare the vector representation of words. Here 
all the columns the count of columns represents the dimension of the vector representation of the word count of total number of row represents the vocabulary size uh, we use some minimum frequency threshold to use the word sequence in training the CBOW model so these are the basic uh, essential terms that are used in uh, continuous bag of words based representation